I'm Annabelle from Starcraft, and I'm here with Stuart Hillard today to talk about his latest knit-along that he's doing with us at Starcraft. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Isn't it? It is. I'd like to ask you about your inspiration for this knit-along. Can you tell us a bit about that? Absolutely. Well, um, I mean, first and foremost, I just love, love, love cabling. I love doing it. I love the look of it. I love the versatility of it. And I suppose I'm a bit of an encourager, really. <laughs> and so I wanted to design a knit along that would get everybody into cabling, get everybody to enjoy the magic yeah. and see that it's not hard. It's actually really easy. It's knitting and purling. Um, and just how beautiful the results are and how easy they are. So it's a really fun project. Okay. So what skill level do you think people need to take this on? Because some people will feel a little daunted, won't they, at the thought of, of cables. What would you say to yeah. them? Yeah. Well, I think first and foremost, some people might be a bit intimidated because it's a big blanket, you know. But of course, you know, you could break it down and actually make some smaller projects, maybe like a smaller throw or some cushions, you know, just follow the general instructions. But the thing is, I would say if you're a confident and committed beginner, because actually the skills are easy. In order to cable, all you need to be able to do is knit and purl. To cast on, cast off, knit and purl. And, um, and then it's just about carrying some stitches at the front sometimes and some stitches at the back sometimes. So it's a very easy process. What I think is hard, actually, is trying to keep lots of different cable patterns going over the front or the back of, say, a sweater. Mm -hmm. And that's why on this knit along, what I've done is to break it down. So that rather than working on lots of different patterns, you're only working on one, you get to repeat lots of them several times across each row. So you consolidate the skill. It really sort of gets under your skin. And before you know it, you'll be cabling in your sleep. Fantastic. So can you tell me a little more about your inspiration for, for the cow and the different colourways? Sure. Well, I wanted to include some of the easiest cables, so that basic twisted rope. I wanted to include uh, probably the one of the most iconic cables, which is that sort of Celtic knot work as well. So take you through from absolute beginner skills through to more advanced cabling skills. Um, colour wise, well, oh goodness me, I love colour. So for me, it's all about enjoying the colours really. Um, so for example, Monarch, which is made using Highland Heathers, I want it to be all about those gorgeous, warm, cosy berry colours, that kind of coming back from a, a walk in the woodlands and having a snuggy sort yeah. of half hour in front of the fire. It's all those sort of juicy autumn colours. It is, it is. And you've got the kind of glowing fire in the centre, and then you've got kind of hawthorn, blackberry, and beautiful greens. So really lovely autumn shades. Um, Should we look at one underneath? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is called Daisy, and this is using Grace. And Grace has got some mohair in it, so it has that little bit of a haze to it. So it's really super soft. It's lighter as well which means um, really snuggy but lightweight as well. Yeah. Um, the colours there, I just wanted something that was kind of fresh as a meadow. I wanted, you know that kind of um, walking in a summer meadow yeah. where it's just freshness and greenness yeah. and you know wildflowers um, and that lovely fresh ivory in there as well that just keeps the whole thing as light as it feels. Yeah, it's beautiful. So that's Daisy. Yep. Then this one right here is the ocean colourway. And really it sort of does what it says on the tin. It's all about those sort of colours like that kind of Caribbean sea, um, but also that kind of beautiful, you know, Cornish blue, you know, the sky and the sea. Um, just those lovely fresh water colours. And of course a little bit of that lovely soft mossy green in there as well, just really makes me think about the vegetation on the rocks as well. But a lovely sort of watery theme. It's hard to choose which one to make, to be honest, they're all so beautiful. <laughs> now this next one, 
This is called Meadow. And this one really, I wanted something that was quite neutral, but I can't really just do neutral. I can't just do very, uh -huh. very so. I wanted something that just gave it a, a hint of nature, a more of a growing feeling. So this one is my sort of, you know, a little bit zen, a little bit, you know, when I'm doing my yoga practice at home, this is the blanket that I might have. Yep folded up to sit on or you know just for at the end of my session so lovely calming restful soft colors um, in meadow and this is made in special errands <clears throat> and then this last one is called cinnabar and so I wanted something which had a gorgeous kind of rich, spicy tone. So it was really about sort of celebrating, you know, the spice trail yes. and all of those things, which I suppose were once very exotic, like cinnabar, yeah. like the spices saffron. and the silk saffron too, yeah. exactly. And perhaps those jewels as well that, that would come across from the east. Um, and something that was beautifully rich and warm and jewel-like. So this is cinnabar. Beautiful. So I have one last question for you, okay. Stuart, which is if people are still hesitating or maybe haven't done a knit along before, what would you say to them about why they should take part? What, what's good about doing a knit along? Well, Knit alongs are wonderful because first and foremost, and I think this is the most important thing, is you're actually part of a community. So there'll be lots of us knitting along at the same time. We'll all start at the same point. We might go off at slightly different tangents. Mm -hmm. Some of us will be faster than others. Some of us have more time than others, but that's okay. There is no end date, yep. only the one that you set. Um, and you're part of a community, so if you want to ask a question, if you're maybe struggling to understand what one of the um, uh, instructions means or doesn't necessarily gel with you, you can ask advice as well. And it's also just an opportunity to say other people are, are getting on yeah. and uh, enjoy that. But also a knit along is great because I think the best knit alongs are ones where you go on a journey. Yep. So you maybe start off with a particular skill level, and it might be a really basic skill level, but by the time you've progressed through, even by the end of the first part of the, yes. the cable along, you feel a sense of achievement, and you're raring to go for the next. Brilliant. Well, thanks, Stuart. And sure. thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye for now.